So just sit back and relax because the show's about to start. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's up? What's up? This is Down to Earth Talk. I am your host, Danny Ely. And I'm sitting all alone right now. Not to fear, though. My two lovely co-hosts will be here in just a minute. <laughs> As I say it, they appear. Sherry Mitchell. Howdy doody. Welcome. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I ran from the car here. <laughs> and uh, big people don't run. Well, we do, but not, uh, what is that called? Not well. Not well? No, it's all good, though. It's all good. Down to Earth Talk. I love this show. I love yeah. doing this show. I love doing it, too. It's uh, for cool. I'm trying to think of some hip word, but I'm out of breath, so. <sighs> all right, okay. breathe. I was late. You were late? Yeah. And I was late, too. And there is Nimi. Nimi in the house. What's up, yeah. girl? So what up, everyone? How are y'all? Sorry pretty good. Chilling. Joe is Joe had his keys put away and everything. <laughs> he was like, ready to roll last week's coming. show. <laughs> he was like, they're not showing up. Yeah, we're yeah. moving on. Yeah. No, no, yeah, we're here. We're here. <coughs> we're we got here. a lot to talk about today. Yeah, we do. We're gonna talk about some of the stuff that's been happening recently and um with the uh uh recent events, current events. Mm-hmm. A current kind of current event show. Yeah. And yeah. Can I give you an update on the day? Please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Please. Uh, Shanna Christensen over at Lido. She's a coordinator at Lido with ATAP. ATAP is All Things Are Possible. It's our after school and family resource services programs all over California and now in Georgia. Woohoo! Woo-hoo! All right. Charmaine's going to spearhead that one and go out there. So, but today she put on what we are calling Market, M A R K I T, Day. Mark. 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 It. it. You know, you better be to be there not or like be the squeezer. <laughs> not like no. the market. No, not but a market. But it's kind of like a market. Yeah, I just wanted to sound different. But it's know? mark it. it. Well, it doesn't sound different. I-T-T. But it's like, put this on your calendar. Mark it down. Yeah, Literally. right now. So <laughs> the purpose of Market Night Day is to build our city of San Bernardino. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, Redlands has a market night. And it's like a wholesome family fun event. So we had this gentleman, and he uh, he came out. I think he's a resident of San Bernardino. And he went out, and he had a great time. And he posted on Facebook, like, all these, like, nice, super nice things about how it just touches his heart and lifts his spirits and really gives him hope that San Bernardino is has a good future there is hope in San Bernardino. yes there is and i haven't um i haven't i didn't bring i didn't email joe or bring in the um ad but you guys will soon be hearing something that we're doing we i mean we can talk about it now yeah right? and it, this connects yeah. with our topic anyways yeah it does because it's the only way things are going to change yeah so we started last week we talked about it a couple of weeks ago yeah we did on the show um but we talked about last week uh talked about it we did it last week yes we did our very first um like prayer for for san bernardino and the city the county the nation yeah. all yeah inland empire in general yeah and it was right here outside of the kcaa studios at the carousel mall which i was told at one point was a very vibrant mall at one point yeah and <laughs> i remember <laughs> that i upon even time. i even had uh, i posted a picture on facebook of it and I had a friend that lives in Kennewick, Washington, mm-hmm. that grew up in Ukaipa, mm-hmm. that says, is that the Carousel Mall? Yep. I, rec- I remember that place. Yep. I remember so. when this place was popping, this was the place, you know, and it was exciting to be at, and people actually rode the carousel. And, you know, it was just a fun, exciting place. And I don't remember at the point when the Inland Center Mall was built. I I know this was like, I remember this being the mall we went to. Yeah. Back when I was, I don't know. This is mm. all to hang out at. It was. Right? It used to be. Yeah. So we but decided. Yeah, we're, we're doing we're doing um, prayer times every fourth Saturday of the month at <coughs> 3 p.m. 3 p.m. And we believe that prayer is a solution to to all of life's problems. Yeah, mm-hmm. God bless you, Amy. 
Yep. Oh. oh, you sneezed. I was like, we can't be so focused on what we're talking about. I didn't say God bless you. Be I feel polite. like I'm blocking you guys because no, I'm in the okay. middle, so I'm like, Err. no, that's all right. Err. Yeah, so we're praying for uh, for our city, for our communities, for our families, for our homes, and anything. I mean, we're not just like we're just praying for San Bernardino. Well, San Bernardino is a focus because it's been on my heart, and it's yeah, you know, you, you've been sharing some of that passion and yeah. we're, we're going to believe that our city's going to grow it's going to be better Restore. and you know what there everybody has issues but when you focus in on the issues instead of saying hey i'm going to see the positive i'm going to believe the best i'm going to hope the best i'm going to have faith that and then go out there and do something about it that's the only way things are going to change mm-hmm. there's and opportunity so, yes yeah when yeah there's an old saying i really like and i probably shared this before on here um, and it's when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Exactly. And so when people, when you look at San Bernardino, a lot of people want to say that the, you know, oh, what it was, and what <coughs> it has become in the process, and they want to speak those things of what it is. But when you change the way you look at things, you yep. change the way you look at San Bernardino as opportunity for amazing things to happen. Yeah, like that old. Do you remember those old? Well, they're not that old. Maybe ten years. Maybe five years. There were these commercials for the NBA playoffs, and it had a piano playing, and it had um, where it would it would just text. It would say where um, friendship, lifelong teammates. Happen, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I see that. Yeah. Where and then it shows Kobe scoring. It says where you know eighty one points happened. Yeah. Right. And then it and it always ended with where amazing happens. Yep. And. That's that's a decoration over San Bernardino where amazing happens. Yeah, you know what? I have this thing. Uh, oh, I bought a book today. I was going to say it's uh, John Maxwell's uh, "How Successful People Think." Yeah, I bought that. I'm going to start reading that. And then uh, uh, why? Why did I say that? I don't remember why I said that. Uh, oh, I know what I was going to say. Yeah. I was going to say I think the cities that are, are the most like. I get all excited about like when I go to Vegas, I get excited there yeah. because it's obvious what the problems are. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, the problems like, aren't like hidden. the city and like the downtown thing, you know, the problems aren't hidden. I'd rather They're much secret be and work in a city where I, where nobody's trying to cover up their issues. Come on. That's, that's like, you know, in denial, you know what I mean? Right. Stop being in denial that oh, you know, there's no such thing as a perfect person. Hello. Right. I don't care how much money you have. Even people with money have problems. You know Serious what I'm saying? problems. Sometimes, Sometimes more worse. Problems. Yeah, and just because you have money doesn't mean it solves your problems. That's that's my. You gotta have. She said, "Mo money, mo problems." Just well, I mean, it can she be. Said, no, she said, "Mo money, mo problems." And we've been talking about that for months about I mo just money, said mo he problems. Says it. Yeah. I don't well, that I just had a conversation with Autumn, <laughs> my eldest daughter, yeah. and I was like, "Honey, people get it twisted. Money's not bad. It's not. Right. Money's a wonderful it thing. Is. It it's sure just is. Abused, that's all. Yeah, it's when you use it for <laughs> negative things." And you use it in the wrong way, mm-hmm. it becomes that root of evil, mm-hmm. you know. Well, Quote that's yeah. the, the not money is the root of evil. The love, love. love of money, exactly, of money because money is only supposed to be used as a tool. Mm-hmm. Yes, like it would be like, and and people like begin to like because they find status in money because we put status in our society in money. Yeah, and so they part start to put how large their bank account is as a sign of status, right? Um, but all money is, that would be like, like, you know, hanging up, <laughs> like, you know, your, your, your money is your status. So that'd be like walking around with a shovel going, look at this, look at how great I am. Cause it's a yeah. tool. Money is a tool. You know how many lonely rich people there are? Oh, plenty. You know, and that's kind of why I don't want my girls to get like way out there in the entertainment world. Cause maybe I, there's nothing wrong with that, <coughs> Yeah. but, uh, I just don't want fake people in my kids' lives. Because mm. only want them to be around. And them they're for at what every they got. turn. At every turn. At every turn. You got money. You got a little success. You got a little whatever. What is that called when you're out there? Uh, <laughs> tell me, fame. Yeah. You got a little fame, and all of a sudden, everybody, oh, I love you. At those things, they I'm don't like, love you. Hey, they love the same thing they happens. Love you. They love your talent, but they don't love you. The same thing happens in the lower income. Exactly. Status around tax time. Yep. All of a sudden, <laughs> all these guys <laughs> have all these friends, and all of a sudden, all their old boyfriends start showing yeah. up around tax time. You want to hear something similar? <laughs> when I was a, when I was a teenager, I had a job, and my brothers and sisters knew when I got paid. You know how much they loved me around oh, those days. Man. Okay, I'll tell you something bad. I'm going to confess something. Okay, right now. go for it. Um, um, we, my brothers figured, my brothers and I figured this out and we should have kept our dang mouth shut because we found out, and I've told you this before, 
we found out that my dad was a lot more liberal with his money after he prayed. <laughs> 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 so we will be oh, at church. Wow. And we would see prayed, my dad huh? bow his head and pray. And then we were like, hey, dad, you want to buy me lunch? And we s- were talking about it one day amongst ourselves and some other friends overheard it. And all of a sudden, you know, they, these guys would line up. So like at the end of the aisle, waiting for my dad to get up from praying. And they'd be they like, know it too. Hey, Uncle Dan. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> And hey, uh, by the way, today? this Did is you pray uh, today, Lord? <laughs> this is down to earth talk. These are the kind of things we talk this about, you know, this knowing when truth. to get them. Mm. I'm just kidding. So uh, this is the truth. Anyways, let's get on the topic you were yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and situation I, I would, in Oregon, right? I would right? like to invite um, any callers to call in one nine zero nine local call. So you could call nine zero nine eight 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 five two two two. Did that number change? Oh no, it's over it's here. Right, it's right, right there. And then, the, and then, if you want to call toll free, it's eight 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 nine zero nine ten fifty. If you like, happen to see a payphone on the street, <laughs> I know. To, they still have and them. And you want to call from a payphone? <laughs> it had to be a dollar though. Like if you're no, calling. no, no. If you're calling an eight 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 number, it's oh, free. oh, oh, duh, dirt, dirt, dirt. Boom, toll Sorry. free. I am toll a little slow. Free. Toll free. I gotta figure out the details yeah. of that. Free. Okay, speaking of. So yeah, we we love for you guys to call in and talk about this, and yeah. We're talking about Oregon, but right? But yeah, we're talking about Oregon, uh, some near my heart, um, because I grew up, uh, it, most people know um, about what happened this week with the, the community college shooting, um, and I'm not going to say, the. I, I love what the sheriff, I don't know if you heard the sheriff's um, press conference, he, he refused to say the shooter's name. Because he knew that the reason, part of the reason the shooter did this was for fame. Oh, wow. And so he refused to give him the fame. He said, we will release the information, but his name will never come out of my mouth. And I agree. His name will never come out of my mouth either. You know, I'm still questioning, because did it ever determine, because it was the, the what you showed me, was that stand up and state your religion? Yeah, there were, there were reports of that coming out. What, what, what was he looking for? No, there, does that he, came he told out? What, what the reports that came out from the eyewitnesses was that when somebody said that they were Christian, mm-hmm. he s- said, well, that's good because you're going to meet God in about five seconds. He and said then that? He would kill them. Oh, okay. Wow. All that right. was the reports that were coming out. Wow. Um, it also, I don't know if this is true. I didn't read into this yet, but um, I heard early reports that all the victims were women. Oh, wow. Which is makes it kind of even creepier wow. and then there's not actual uh, I, I think the death toll is at 13 um and there's a lot of stuff happening right now there's a lot of people talking about this i mean it, we, we could click on facebook right now and within the first five feeds we're going to see people talking about it um there's people that are tired of seeing this thing happen and so their solution is restrict guns i personally don't believe that's a appropriate solution like for everybody even cops yeah. well no mm-hmm. not cops I, I know that's a pretty i know you're <laughs> laughing joe's Joe. laughing but like joe's you know like, what what it, some people i mean we're gonna give cops slingshots <laughs> <and that's laughs> <Yeah>. well <laughs> i don't more arrows. listen don't make me feel stupid <laughs> now come on now i am a, no i'm just like because you said like everybody, everybody. and i'm thinking like yeah. everybody the, the what talk does they is mean? the talk is let's ban Why are you guns? laughing at me it's okay. <laughs> that was a pretty dumb thing to say. Okay, whatever. This is down to earth talk, Joe. You don't know this by now? Why don't you come over here and join us and talk we down to earth with thunk. us? We say yes. what we thunk. We say what we thunk. I thunk it. I said it. I spoke it. I spake, <laughs> I spaked it. I spaked it. I spake it. Well, you said everybody. And I'm like, well, well yeah, how dumb could that be? You know, if it was everybody. That was why would yeah? That, why would somebody they're, they're say that? They're stupid getting rid of. No, I wouldn't call anybody stupid. I'd call them I don't know. Let's change the subject. We're going to change our police force to yes. cats now is what no. I saw on Ant Farm yesterday. Cats? <laughs> so, all right. Um, but no, the idea is restricting guns for for, for Americans. It's all right. It's okay. You're awesome. <laughs> Just me too. kidding. You're all right. Awesome me. Somebody calling in? I think Joe might be calling in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he's not calling Oh, Joe's calling in. <laughs> hey, I'd like to say that I don't think that guy Joe left at I you. I don't think you should be judging I him know. right now. <laughs> I know. Something. Uh, um, no. So, uh, but but the idea. I, I'm glad. I'm glad we're able to. Like, honestly, it's been a rough week for me. I had some friends um, that went to school there. Want to hear something crazy? Yes. Do you remember about what was it within the month? Because uh, yeah, it was within the month. It was in the month of September. Um, there was a there was a, a terrorist attack that happened in Paris. I didn't hear about that. Paris 
France, not yeah. Paris, California. <laughs> Paris, France. There was a guy on a on a on a train with guns and um, all kinds of stuff, box cutter, all kinds of stuff. And there were three individuals. One was from California, and the other two were from Oregon. And they stopped him. They were given the highest award from Par- uh, France that oh, you could wow. be given as a civilian. It was really funny because they showed up wearing polo shirts. <laughs> it's like oh, wow. you guys the couldn't police? have worn suits. The police? No, no, no. These, uh, these, these, these students that were traveling. A couple oh, of them were in like the military, and there were three American students that were traveling in Paris that stopped a terrorist attack on a train. Hmm. One of them went to Umpqua Community College. I think oh, that's wow. just crazy. I think that's crazy. That is crazy. Um, but um, the, the, there's people saying the solution is. Um, we need to restrict guns. There's people saying the solution is we need to give everybody a gun. <laughs> I don't know how that would be a solution. Um, what was that movie? Joe, since you laughed at me, what was that movie <laughs> when they like they had uh, where they had one night a year where they the purge. The purge. I'm not suggesting that, so don't laugh at me again. But I mean, that would be something <laughs> like silly. Uh, I mean, like these people think. No, th- none of that's the answer. Well, I mean. I saw a great meme on Facebook the other day. Yeah. That was, it was, they always have this meme with uh, Batman slapping Robin. Yeah. Robin uh-huh. saying something stupid and Batman slapping him. And Robin says, um, if guns weren't sold in stores, then bad guys wouldn't get them. And Batman slapping him in the face. Meth. And he says, is meth sold in stores? <laughs> oh, wow. So it's kind of like, why? why do we think that somehow... You know, restricting guns means that all that's going to happen is law-abiding citizens are going to get rid of their guns, and then the people that are up to no good and trying to do harm or or commit crime are, are they're going to be the ones that get them. Have access to them. They're going to be the ones that have access to them, and then we're so we're you stuck. You know, with can I harp? Yeah, go for it. Okay, uh, here here's here's the situation. Yeah. Okay, I was just telling Shanna today. Now, if this offends anybody listening, I'm so sorry. But you know the what? Number the number to call in is 888 Tell me if it offends you. You know, the church needs to rise up and us. do their job. Yeah. That's the bottom line. Yep. Cut the religion crap. Yep. Cut it. Yep. And I'm, I'm getting frustrated with a lot of religious folks and stuff like that. I love God and with all my heart. I, I mean, I serve him. I live for him. And I attend church regularly. And all of that doesn't make me nothing other than an informed educated person that knows God and knows what he wants knows and just I think the answer to this has got to be more just rising up and being leaders that you're supposed to be and quit being in front and trying to act like you're somebody Front and I, I'm just I've been mad <coughs> I've been up I'm not mad but I've been like agitated lately because got these people trying to shove the their own thoughts on people right. Right. and it's not even like no you know what did you did you did you read the same bible that i read right. Right. what the heck is going on here jesus came to serve he led the way he was a leader well i don't know if i want to get into that the, this part of the conversation too quick uh-huh. because i wanted to talk about our i wanted to go to our one of our favorite scenes from a, mo- a mutually <coughs> one of our favorite scenes from a movie that i told you about this morning yeah and we talked about yeah. Are we are we going on break or something? We're going to go to break in a minute. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, we'll talk about that when we come back. Oh, are we going on break? We're Joe? going on break. Joe, on Joe break. we're going on break while Joe's laughing at us. Yeah. Again. We're I felt, thankful I felt for really here. silly for that I'm comment. Thankful for cops. Joe here. No, you can't take guns away from cops. That would be stupid. All right? They mm-hmm. protect us. Mm-hmm. Anyways, forget I said that. Everybody, just wipe it from your brain. Bye. We'll be back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. We found the problem with your car. Um, Turns out the uh, carburetor differential modulator is out. What? And while we were digging around in there, this thing fell off. Stop. There's no automotive repair nightmares at Diego Martinez's Five Star Automotive in San Bernardino. Five Star Automotive, where you'll get a great experience and home of the $15.99 oil change. That's right, just $15.99. They specialize in transmissions, brake repair, AC, and many other repairs, all with a lifetime warranty on parts and labor. Diego knows when your auto needs five-star attention, it's never convenient. He offers a 12-month interest fee auto repair loan on major auto repairs with no money down. He even throw in free towing and a 10% discount for his neighbors in the 909 who work for the city and county of San Bernardino. Call 909-387-387. 
387-0770. That's 387-0770. Your neighbors at 909 West 2nd Street in San Bernardino. K C A A. And we are back. We're talking about current events and we kind of teased everybody heading out talking about um I don't know. I mean, this movie is probably top 20 of my favorite movies. I don't know if it's up that high on your list of favorite movies. Uh, it's it's up there. It's up there. I don't know how. What it's movie? American the movie Sniper. American Sniper. I do like that movie. Yeah. Yeah, amazing movie. If you haven't very, seen very it, good. it's on video now. You can very get good. well video. People still have on videos? demand. Something. Yeah. Or you can Netflix. watch it on probably Netflix. I Netflix, opened up maybe? a Voodoo account and so I bought it. Voodoo so account. Voodoo. So I don't, so w- I don't <laughs> lose. <laughs> Like v- v- do, v- Voodoo? Like V-U-D-U. Like I don't know what it stands for. Little Ouija boards? <laughs> no, <laughs> not, I'm not poking pins at anybody. I just talk about I hate religious crap. Come on, Voodoo guys. dolls. No, no. No, it's whatever movie. Okay. You can buy movies. And I nice. do that so I don't lose them and scratch them. I know. Oh, like I, Pirate hate Bay. That. Yeah. I hate that. Pirate Bay? You can download Girl, movies. You can download movies. You're not Pirate. buying movies on Pirate Bay. You don't, do- you don't buy that them. That doesn't even sound right. You're arr. You're still... <laughs> You're pirating. You're not, te- you're not technically <laughs> stealing. We're not talking about that. We're not stealing. We're not talking about that right <laughs> no. now. Now, Miss Entertainment okay. Industry. Li- okay, listen. I bought that movie for $20, there okay? You go. I bought it. I, I bought, purchased I, it. I went to Walmart yeah. and I purchased it in DVD because there's some movies that I want in DVD. Yeah, I hear you. So I have it, and there's a great scene in it. There's a scene where um, the. The main character, Chris Kyle, his little brother, it's when they're kids, and he gets beat up. Mm -hmm. And Chris Kyle steps in and beats up the bully. Yep. And the dad is talking to him, and he says, there's three types of people in the world. There's a sheep. The sheep are the people that go through life and just go through life. They, They live their life. A lot of times they're defenseless to an attack that would come on them. Mm Mm-hmm. There's the wolves, and those are the people that would prey upon the sheep. They're the people that are going to do harm to the sheep. And he, <laughs> I love this scene. He takes off his belt. <laughs> and he says, I ain't raising no wolves, so if you do that, I'll beat it out of you. Yeah, I remember and that. And then he says, and there's the sheepdog. And the sheepdog are the ones who step in and stop when there's something happening. They step in for the defenseless. They step in for the hurting. They step in for the the afflicted they step in for the forum and they and they stop the wolf from attacking yeah and i think that's exactly what you were saying before we went to the break that um it's it's it, it what i think the best if i was to quote scripture on our show have we ever quoted scripture i don't care before? go for it people quote uh, way worse i don't know here. i don't know where it <laughs> <laughs> i've heard them remember the show before us <laughs> I said it. <laughs> I uh, I don't I don't remember exactly the verse, <laughs> yeah. but the 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 scripture is um, is a form of godliness, but denying its power. Yeah, you understand what it's about, but you deny the fact that there's any power behind it, and that's what we see a lot of the time as we look to our quote unquote. I was going to do it and not say it. Religious leaders, mm. you know. We we see we see a form of godliness, but denying the power that's in that, and that's and and that's, I believe, where Jesus would have us is to be on the side of defending the defenseless. Yep, that's and, exactly. That's and, what he did. And I think it, it's okay to have a gun, and I think there's it scripture okay. that backs that. Yep. Yeah. Because Jesus sells, if said, if you don't have a sword, <coughs> Jesus sold guns. No, he said, if you don't have a sword. Oh, which I thought that's what you were going to say. I'm like gun, that. Just stop quoting scripture because that is not in there. Okay, that is so not in you there. You know what? It's in the New King James version. <laughs> and if Jesus spoke the New King James, well, then that's good enough for All me, right. y'all. Okay, listen, everybody. These are jokes. Okay, <laughs> this is jokes. Don't like you Don't. know hunt us down. You can't Google me because you can Google me. You can you Google me. I I had not put none of my personal information <laughs> on the internet. You can Google me. I have not. <laughs> You'll find things, but not where I live. <laughs> or none of that kind of stuff. <laughs> you can Anyways, Google me. yes, these are just jokes. But uh, um, we're just kidding, Josh and I. Okay, so I heard this thing, and I want to ask you. I don't know how much time we have left. We got a few minutes oh, still. Five minutes. Left. Five minutes left. Um, I, I heard this thing about why America. Why does America? It, America. America. <laughs> <laughs> why does it happen in America 
as much, you know, and, oh, yeah. and people say, oh, it's obviously because of our gun culture. That's why it happens in America. And I read this article by the University of Alabama. I wanted to get your thought on it, and I'll try to summarize it really quick. They looked at all the mass shootings over the last 15 years, and they found a common thread through all the shooters. One, there was mental illness that was taking place. And two, all of these people, and you can even go back to things like the Oklahoma City bombing Mm -hmm. and see this and that. Um, all these people felt like they were somehow wronged mm-hmm. in life. Yeah. And, and this article doesn't blame, but it says that American exceptionalism, the fact that you can come to the United, United States of America, you can come to the U.S. and you can make something in your life can cause the people that, for whatever reason, don't resent the people that have. And that's when they like we were talking about earlier they mm-hmm. flip that switch and become they go from sheep to wolf you know and then they want to cause pain in that well, and, then, and then there's another element of people just people today there's such a drive and Nimi can speak on this a little bit um, being in the entertainment world there's such a drive for people's name to be known yeah good or bad they want their name to be known and that's what I appreciate about this Roseburg sheriff that said we're not going to release his yeah. name. You will never hear me say his name because I will not give in to what he wanted, which was to be famous for this. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you know, bottom line, here, here's the bottom line: whether you believe this or not, I mean, it's just, I mean, you know, you can say you don't believe in diesel trucks. Go stand in the middle of the road; it'll run you over <laughs> and kill you. <laughs> so uh, that's not the point. What the point is: there's uh, sin. It's called sin. It's called sin nature. It's called uh, okay. Let me let me un unreligifies this or whatever you want to say. I can't even spoke, but it there there's there's <laughs> this nature in this world that is me 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 selfish yeah. selfish yeah. selfish. I do what I think, how I want, when I want, when I want. That's called sin. Okay, that's called a life that in in a. It's not just an American issue. It's right. a it's a human issue, and in our heart, you do not have to teach a child how to say no and how to do wrong things they in- instinctively know how to do mm-hmm. those things so it's you a, will tell a kid do not touch that cookie jar and, they'll and do leave it. the room and they'll they will do touch it. the cookie so jar so this is the world we live in and this is why we have these things so i can't you know like i uh i, I just i just think you know people just need to wake up yeah. There's a real God. Yeah. There's a real enemy out there. And there's there, there it is. I mean, look at just just look, look around you. I mean, if you're driving, don't look. But, if, you know, when you stop, take a look at the mountains. Will you do this, please? Take a look at the mountains, the trees. Babies grow in uh, inside of a body. And I'm closing my eyes as I'm talking about this because I'm thinking and I'm visualizing. Every time I don't believe that there's a God, I have to go back to I did not come or evolve from something. They're, we're too intricate. Because mm-hmm. they we're would too continue detailed. to be evolving. Yes, we're too detailed. Come on, people. If we wake up and we realize, I sound like a rant show, right? <laughs> if we wake up and we realize, and I'm, uh, because I, I, I love people so much and yeah. I don't want to see them hurting. And I don't want to see them going down lives and paths that are going to cause them to be destroyed. Destructive, yeah. But, I mean, that's the fact. There is a real God and people don't want to come to that conclusion. And things like this wake up. Um, maybe not, I'm not saying you are, Yeah. um, with your eyes closed to it. Um, but maybe things like this will wake up people that need to be saying stuff Yeah. and need to be communicating this and to your families. And wake up church, and wake up yeah. church, man. If you could hear, if I could get, uh, get an ounce of passion, wake up, stop being so judgmental yeah. and religious mm-hmm. and listen and learn and love people where they're at and help them lead them to life amen yep. amen preach it sister preach it girl preach it brother mm-hmm. right on oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know don't take guns away from cops please so. please All don't right. take guns don't do away that. from anyway. cops. anyways this is right down now. to earth talk sorry we right. love you we do love y'all come back next week we're gonna try to do a radio resume with my daughter hit us up on facebook All right. down to earth talk <laughs> Nimi, boom you're the best Bye. all right Aww. peace out homie All right. <laughs> <laughs>
This is 1050 AM KCAA Loma Linda and KCAA FM Yucaipa 106.5 FM. Consider this your invitation to sell. At buysellmakeoffer.com, you can sell as much as you want for the next 60 days without paying any fees whatsoever. Sound incredible? It is, and it's true. Buysellmakeoffer.com is the new exciting way to sell your stuff online. Make extra money right now. Sell your old car, furniture, video games, household items, clothes, even your home. Sell anything that's legal. Load up your stuff to sell right now at buysellmakeoffer.com. This is your official invitation to get on board to sell your stuff right now free for the next 60 days and once you see how easy it is you'll want to sign up for more because there are no item fees that's right take this opportunity to move items from the other guys and sell it for free you might even win a samsung tablet amazon gift cards and other cool prizes buy sell make offer.com is the future of online selling you can use skype to talk to your buyer or seller plus you can use video to showcase your items buy sell make offer.com this is KCAA. In 1992, Ross Perot chose a complete unknown to be his presidential running mate. In his first debate, that VP candidate began by asking a question, who am I? Why am I here? The same should be asked about Carly Fiorina, the Republican presidential contender who has surged in recent polls of GOP primary voters. Her campaign is positioning her as a no-nonsense, successful corporate chieftain who can run government with business-like efficiency. In a recent debate, Fiorina rattled off a list of her accomplishments as CEO of Hewlett-Packard, the high-tech conglomerate. We doubled the size of the company, quadrupled its top-line growth rate, quadrupled its cash flow, tripled its rate of innovation, she declared in PowerPoint style. Statistics, however, can be a sophisticated way of lying. In fact, the growth she bragged about was mostly the result of her buying another computer giant in a merger that proved to be disastrous. Hewlett-Packard's profits declined 40% in her six years, its stock price plummeted, and she fired 30,000 workers, even saying publicly that their jobs should be shipped overseas. Finally, she was fired. Before we accept her claim that running government like a business would be a positive, note that the narcissistic corporate culture richly rewarded Fiorina for failure. Yes, she was fired, but unlike the thousands of HP employees she dumped, a golden parachute was provided to let her land in luxury. Counting several